What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here from FanDuel, and I'm here to talk about veteran season-long fantasy targets for your teams. We're getting into training camp. The season's right around the corner, so you need to know guys that you need to target in. We, we're done talking about the new shiny toys. Let's talk about some veterans and start it off with Ben Roethlisberger for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's going at QB26 right now, and this is just an egregious price tag for Ben Roethlisberger. I get it. He's not a mobile quarterback. The offensive line woes are terrible. They've let they've let go of some really key pieces on the offensive line but even then they were bad in 2020 and you're looking at the numbers that Ben Roethlisberger was able to put up last year he was QB 14 he had a rough time down the stretch the Steelers offense did but they got a new offense coordinator there and Matt Canada who's very um he's he's getting talked about as being very creative with the offense so you love that you love the weapons that Ben Roethlisberger has at the receiver position and then also with them bringing in the rookie of Najee Harris I really just don't get why people aren't sold in to Ben Roethlisberger since 2013 he's got five years where he's had over 550 pass attempts he's had 600 pass attempts over uh, over the past two seasons that he's been healthy for full 16 so we really love seeing that and then you're looking at since 2012 this guy has never finished lower than QB 20 so uh, let's get let's get it together let's buy in on Ben Roethlisberger especially if you're looking at streaming quarterbacks Next up on the list, we got Odell Beckham. He's coming in at wide receiver 29. Why is he coming in at wide receiver 29? Okay, maybe it's the ACL injury that he just suffered last year. But hey, we got the guy Jarvis Landry, his teammate, saying that Odell's never looked better. He's looking prime and healthy. And he even attended OTAs uh, earlier this offseason with no knee brace. He had no wrap on that knee. So he's healthy to go. And the thing that's not being talked about enough is Odell with all the antics that he has. Listen, this guy, everything that you can see on social media about him is just getting primed for this season. We haven't had any quote unquote distractions from this guy. I think he's primed to have a really big season coming in this year. Uh, I've talked about get, getting in on Baker Mayfield and this passing attack. Maybe they're going to limit some of Nick Chubb's production, even though they are a run first team, but you're loving that Baker's in the second year with Kevin Stefanski there. I think they're primed to get Odell Beckham some targets. And when you look at what he's been able to do um, when he's played at least 12 games in the season this guy's going for a thousand yards that's a given he's gotten over 120 targets when he's played over 12 games in a season as well too and then he's look at his price tag he's going at wide receiver 29 that's consistently putting him in the sixth round even in some drafts he's going in the seventh or eighth round that's absolutely ridiculous for a guy that can easily finish at the top 10 uh, of the position even higher the upside way outweighs so for lack of a better term the risk for me there so I'm buying in on Odell Beckham this year at his current price tag and I hope you guys do too heading into your fantasy football drafts this season finally that brings me to Tyler Higby on the list Tyler Higby is going as the tight end 10 and I did say that this was going to be veteran uh fantasy targets and you're looking at a guy like Tyler Higby uh, is he a veteran maybe he falls in that category he's coming into his sixth year I believe here with the Rams and you're looking at okay what's the situation there he's got Matthew Stafford at the helm not Jared Goff what has Matthew Stafford done with tight ends well him and Eric Ebron when Eric Ebron was drafted I believe he was a, a high-end top 10 pick or top 15 pick I believe in the draft they brought him in and they just didn't have the rapport there um, that you know would garner a, a top uh, a top tier tight end at the position but even before Eric Ebron when you're looking even back to Matthew Stafford's rookie year in the first couple of years that he was there uh, with the Detroit Lions and they even had Cal uh, Calvin Johnson you know the one of the best wide receivers to ever play in this game Brandon Pettigrew was the tight end now this guy was seeing a hundred targets in two seasons with Matthew Stafford that's absolutely incredible I mean even he had 100 targets in a year where Kevin Johnson had 200 so if you're worrying about two money mouths to feed with Matthew Stafford there at the Rams now flash forward to 2021 with Cooper Cup and Robert Woods I still think there's room for Tyler Higby to succeed you're looking at TJ Hawkinson last year leading the Detroit Lions in red zone targets I think that's another uptick for Tyler Higby you're looking at the situation at tight end where Gerald Everett is now gone from this team and you only have Bryson Hopkins who's in his he's uh in his second year now being drafted last year with the team and he saw only two offensive snaps last year so no competition 
uh, going on there for Tyler Higby. And when you can get a guy like this in the 10th round, as we talk about, you know, buying into tight ends late, if you don't get one of the top tier guys, I think that Tyler Higby can easily finish uh, at top five of the position, at least well, uh, well above cost of where he's going now at the tight end 10. So I think you need to buy into Tyler Higby and it's a good way as we talk about the situation there with the Rams, hey, their star running back is going to be uh, on the shelf for some time, possibly the entire season with the Achilles injury. So we think that Matthew Stafford's going to be passing a lot. I think that Tyler Higby falls into that range and people will buy into the backup running back and the star receivers and he'll go slept on. So Tyler Higby, tight end 10, get you some of that. That's going to do it for the hurry up uh, with me, Ryan Williams here from FanDuel. Catch me next time on the FanDuel Hurry Up as we'll be talking about NFL fantasy all season long with you guys.